Hello sports fans and welcome to day three of the Planet Zoo World Championship. We're back at the Gulpi Arena for day three events with a focus on swimming challenges. Yesterday saw the conclusion of the track events which saw Africa still dominating the leaderboard with four gold medals. Behind them South America now has two silver, one bronze. Europe has one silver and two bronze. Oceania saw its first silver medal awarded and North America saw its first bronze. Asia is still trailing behind with no medals going into day three with disappointing results for them in the hurdles and the assault course events yesterday. I'm sure they're hoping to turn things around with the swim events we've got coming up today. First up we've got the 100 meter swim, a challenge that will test the animals purely on speed. Taking to the water first we have saltwater croc for Oceania, giant otter for South America and California sea lion for North America. So out at the start line, we'll hit the timer when one of the animals hits the water. Who's it going to be first? Could be the otter. Nope, looks like it's going to be California sea lion. California sea lion first into the pool. But other two aren't that far behind. That's the otter getting ready to go. And saltwater croc also making moves. A nice entrance by the otter here. Sometimes they can struggle a bit with the ramp. So currently sea lion out in front. The crocodile and the otter are going at a slower but steady pace. Although sea lion seems to be taking their time as well. None of these are really gunning for the finish line. Hopefully once they get their bearings it picks up. Yeah there we go. Right sea lion's going for it. They're a lot quicker once they get into that dive. Hang on a bit of a water glitch there. Oh no. Let's put the sea lion back a few paces. Sea lion turned around. That's not going to be good for the score. So sea lion currently going the wrong way. That has the saltwater croc in front now, competing with the otter there. Not exactly the thrilling battle in the water I had planned here, more like a leisurely paddle. I think they're just enjoying the water here, having a bit of a play around. Well, you can do that on your own time, not while we're racing. You know, sometimes these animals, they do have a mind of their own. You set something nice up for them like this and they still just go and do their own thing. At least Croc is approaching the finish line now, so a surprise winner there, I'll be honest. <laughs> I spoke too soon. Oh, he must have heard me. He's turning around. Look, you're so close to the finish. Oh, honestly, this is not the time for a little snooze in the water here. And the sea lion more interested in the crowds than racing. Come on, show a little competitiveness. These two are pretty much handing that medal to the otter. Giant otter here, they've gone slow and steady, but they're very close to the end. And they're the only one of this first run that hasn't changed their mind halfway through. That's it. There we go. Well done, otter. I would say it was hard won, but that'd be a lie. An easy win there for South America. Right then, what are our two jokesters up to now? Oh, sea lions at least going the right way. Bit quicker now as well. Maybe they didn't realise how far the otter had come. Well, it's too late now. You'll be lucky with a second place here. Yep, as long as you go through. There we are. Well done. Or not. <laughs> our sea lion there could have easily taken first place if they hadn't been messing around earlier on. Crocodile potentially could have come in second. They did have the upper hand for a brief moment before they decided they just wanted a rest. Never mind, these things do happen and we're at the finish line now. Just a few metres to go. Please don't turn around. Come on, you can do it. Yay, there we are. Not the fantastic scoring there I was hoping for. Don't think we'll be setting any records with that run. So yeah, Giant Otter currently first, California Sea Lion second, and Saltwater Croc third. Up next, we've got the Gharial swimming for Asia, Grey Seal for Europe, and the Hippopotamus is swimming for Africa. Right, second go round. Let's hope the competitors are a little bit more competitive this time. Grey Seal making early moves towards the water. Yep, that's Grey Seal kicking off the timer. Hippos also making their way in. How's the Gharial doing? Gharial's making moves as well. So a good start. All competitors are facing the right way. Hang on. Hang on. What's the hippo doing? Uh, they're walking. <laughs> oh dear. Is that allowed? Guess if that's how they act in water then we have to go with it. 
Oh, hey, grey seals turned around as well. Oh, no, hang on. They're going the right way now. Maybe that was just so they could go into a dive. But I am starting to get a little nervous here. This is exactly what the sea lion was doing. Yep, there you go. Grey seal going the wrong way. Well, this will surely give the hippopotamus and the gharial an advantage. Hippo getting there surely and steadily walking on the bottom of the pool. Still not sure if that's allowed, but it's not like I can change it, is it? I can't tell them to swim. <laughs> I'm impressed they can keep such motion in the water. Hippo superpowers. Right, here we go. Hippo through. And I'm guessing that's an impressive time. No dilly-dallying. That could be another gold medal for Africa. Oh, well. Right, onwards and upwards. Let's see how our Gariel's doing. Well, could they go any slower? There we go, bit of speed. Meanwhile, Grey Seal's back at the beginning. They're not taking this seriously at all. Just twists and turns constantly. Oop, nearly missed the Gariel completing. They've done well through all of this, very consistent. I hope this is a good score for them. Hopefully enough to land the first medal for Asia, at least. Anyway, where are we up to with this silly grey seal that refuses to swim in the right direction? Still heading off the wrong way. Right, I'm going to do a jump cut and see if we can get this to the end. Approaching the finish line. No, no, no. Sorry, grey seal, I'm sorry, but I think we've all had enough here. That's a did not finish because they refused to play by the rules. A sad way to go out, but inevitable for some of these things. So, end of round five. How's that looking on the leaderboard? Africa have gained themselves yet another gold medal. That's five gold medals in a row. Just blowing every other competitor out of the water. Just below that, we have Asia with their first medal. And that's a silver. So, well done, Goriel. You actually managed it. And only by about one second as well. Giant Otter pushed down to third place at bronze which is still a good result for South America. So with that crazy round out the way, let's move to the next event, which is the water assault course. Unlike the climbing assault course, this water course will test the animal's agility on land and in the water. They must navigate from the start and make their way through this tropical landscape, avoiding the rocky outcrops and bushes along the way. For this event, all competitors from the last round will be taking part and they'll be navigating this one at the same time. So we're in and ready to go. Looks like it's the sea lion that's taken the initiative here, followed by saltwater croc and giant otter. Oh, here comes the hippo. Gariel making their way in slowly. Probably a repeat of how they performed in the last round. Grey seal, not having any of it. <laughs> having a bit of a sleep there. Wake up, lazy bones. Oh, looks like this sea lion's got caught up in a mangrove bush. That'll slow them down. Giant Otter looking like the most active participant at the moment. And that's the Hippo definitely taking the plunge as well. Hippo could win this if they find a decent path to navigate. Ooh, it looks like they've, they're doing a different animation this time. They're actually swimming. I was going to say, their performance in the last round, it looked very unnatural. This definitely feels more like what a Hippo would do in the water. Giant Otter making good progress here. Rest of the competitors all seem to be stuck at the start. But Grey Seal finally on the move. It only took him a minute in. <laughs> Maybe that extra energy from the little snooze there will help them speed ahead. Otter having a bit of a break here. Maybe they're getting their bearings. It can be confusing in the water. They're coming up close to the finish line though. Not far for them to go to that sandbank. And they're very much in front of all the other competitors. Their slim size and speeds probably help them slip by. Having a bit of trouble with the last ramp. The otters sometimes struggle with their footing on the deeper inclines. I wouldn't worry too much though. I mean, there's nobody else nearby. If they do take a little longer, they're still in first place. Here we go. Final turn here and that should have them up the ramp. That's it. You can make it. That is Giant Otter taking first place for South America. Meanwhile, it is slow progress for our other animals. I think they're getting lost around this little island here. A lot of them not in a hurry and they're going the wrong way. Although Hippo seems to be making some progress. This could be Hippo coming into second place. Nope, they're still going in the wrong direction. 
Never mind. They're faring better than some that are stuck at the start. Here we got the Gariel just floating around near the starting line. And California Sea Lion is still stuck on the mangrove. Grey Seal's broken free. Looks like they mean business. That feels like a very direct route to the finish line. No showboating this time around. Maybe that sleep did do them well. Yeah, they're definitely heading towards the ramp. Hopefully they don't turn around. Not much in the way of competition around for second place either. Although I can see that hippo hanging around under the water there. Just the final ramp here for the Grey Seal and that'll be second place for Europe. A nice smooth transition there out of the water. No problem for the Seal. And there we go. Second place to Europe. Good performance overall considering they were asleep at the beginning. And Hippo. Ooh, just behind them. Didn't realise they were that close. So a change up for Africa there. Getting third place. So a bronze medal for Africa. <laughs> First time they've got a bronze and not a gold. How are the rest of the competitors shaping up? Not much change here. I think safe to say California Sea Lion is just stuck in the mangrove. They're not going to get anywhere else, are they? And these guys are just doing circles around this island. So I'm calling it DNF for all three of them. So round six scores. Giant Otter takes first place with a gold. A Grey Seal takes silver. And the Hippopotamus for Africa takes bronze. Commiserations for North America, Oceania and Asia with no scores in that round at all. So what does this mean for the overall leaderboard? Africa still well ahead. I don't know if they can be beat at this point. That's five gold medals for Africa. South America has seen their first gold too. So they are moving on up a little bit. South America and Europe also sitting there comfortably with a couple of silver. It's also nice to see that every continent now has a medal. So I feel a bit better about that. Join us tomorrow as we venture into day four of the World Championship where things are going to be a bit bouncy. I do like giving these little hints of what the event's going to be the next day. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed today's events. Drop a like if you're enjoying the series and I'll catch you next time. Bye for now.